What's up guys? You're watching the Back Road Driver channel and we're the Miser Brothers. Guys, we don't clickbait. My 2021 F-150 with the Whipple on it, the motor's blown. We had the cameras rolling for this entire process, which has taken a couple of months to come to finally where we're at today with the resolution. Um, we'll piece it all together. Yep. Um, you know, we've filmed this as things happen along our timeline here. It's been in limbo for a while now. Um, but this is th what happened. This is the story. Something really bad happened with Sam's truck. It's something we really hoped hadn't happened. Yep. Had a big problem during the Whipple install. We were trying to take care of bad cats and change out headers and high flow cats at the same time. This <laughs> doesn't look like much, but it might be the most beautiful thing I've seen. I mean, it's gonna add like a thousand horsepower, I think. Uh, for If you get horsepower in proportion to how difficult it is, we should get a thousand horsepower for this. And as soon as we pop the uh, driver's side exhaust manifold off. Cylinder number eight, that oil coming through the manifold. Um, at that point, we knew something wasn't good. I mean, you know, Having a bad cat causes some back pressure and stuff, but usually not enough to push uh, oil past the rings and everything. You know, you got a bore scope on it. You got scarring on cylinder eight. Cylinder six look clean as a whistle. Seven, yeah. Well, it, the others look good. Um, it won't hold any pressure. It's as wide open as wide open gets. No, no pressure at all. Uh, Just bad motor, guys. That's where it's at at this point. It's not um, like we can bore it over and, and that put bigger pistons in or something. This thing can't be tuned other than a factory tune or a Whipple tune at this point. There's no adjustment there. Um, so a built engine isn't really in the cards. Um, if and when this happens to my 2018, which is wide open for tuning, if it was just this, we would just go straight to bore it over, put bigger pistons in it, put it back in the truck, and, and be just basically adjust the tune for that much more air, throw a little more uh, fuel at it. But in this case, the truck's obviously going back to where it came from, back to where we started with this thing, Town & Country Ford. This is not Town & Country Ford's fault. This is uh, to be determined on, on what actually caused this. We have a very good theory on on actually how this happened but um i guess we're about I mean, to tell them into the future here in a minute go ahead there's what happened i mean we were down there doing the install this one of the first f-150s in 21 to get a whipple kit we got some of the first kits um we were down there auto vlog was getting his installed as well um you know we uh, kind of timed that up and uh you know we're making some content down there and uh you know we had some issues with few of the parts um you know we had a leak in the uh the heat exchanger um had a staple hit it or something in shipping you know had to overnight that part in had a throttle body that was rubbing a little bit um got that part replaced you know then finally got it running took it for a test drive and what the major issue here guys is the intercooler inside of the head unit on one side of the supercharger of the supercharger down in there had come loose so it had a leak we're pumping in coolant and it's leaking inside the supercharger and running down into the motor filled the system with coolant let it idle a few minutes everything's fine double checked it before owner went on test drive goes on a two block test drive it's blowing white smoke no visible leaks outside the only place that i figured it would come from would be the brick inside no nick marks on it out here but we did notice when we pressurized the system one of the o-rings up here is leaking this one here on would be the passenger driver side is leaking coolant the engine is full of coolant i've got to pull the plugs get the coolant out and hopefully everything is okay Pump it up. That's both scrolls sitting in. It's awesome. 
you know, if you're pouring coolant down a cylinder, you're washing away the oil. Motor's still moving, so the ring is just sitting there rubbing the cylinder wall with no, without being lubricated. So you end up scarring it, and then uh, it scars enough, and it heats those rings up yeah. enough because they're not lubricated. You end up having blow by where oil's coming out of the crankcase past the piston up yeah. into the firing chamber. So when we pulled the spark plug after we realized what was going on here, we pulled the spark plug and it's coated in oil. Yeah. Um, so that was causing misfire. That's the code we got when we brought it in to go ahead and change cats out. So it's not you know, good. The cats were bad. Antifreeze hurts cats. Um, it's not as bad as uh, oil is for cats. So we once we, both we, we, we threw both at these, uh, the catalytic converter and um, you so know. What we're doing is we're bolting the truck back together, undoing the couple of days worth of wrenching we've done at this point. Um, you got cross member out, you got all kinds of stuff out. We had an awesome video coming for you about putting headers and high flow cats on the we'll truck. We'll show you here in a second. <laughs> They're fitted on here. There's no, uh, it's not bolted down, but we do have. You got headers, headers on, on it, technically. Uh, but this truck's going to get on a trailer, head down to town and country, and um, I guess that's where this video is about to pick up that you're watching here in the future. Let's find out what happened. Real quick, we need to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Roadmaster Active Suspension. We want you guys to be ready for hauling season. Very soon, you guys will be getting your campers out, your toy haulers, you'll be going to car shows, you'll be doing yard work. And hey, Sam's had these on his truck, on the hammer, pretty much since he got it. We've towed all the cars that we have on the channel when they break or when we need to haul them on our new car hauler. And he's also pulled a dump trailer for the jobs we do when we're flipping houses and he'll fill one of these bad boys up and Roadmaster Active Suspension keeps his truck more level than if he didn't have them and he makes the ride a lot more secure, safe, and planted. Now a lot of times people say why didn't you just go with airbags for towing? Well airbags weigh a lot Airbags don't help you at all when you're not towing. They actually make your ride even bumpier. Roadmaster actually make your ride better when you're not towing because they help out your rear suspension and make it feel a little bit more sporty, a little bit more planted. And Roadmaster costs a whole lot less than airbags do. Roadmaster has given us a discount code. We're gonna drop it right here on the screen and right down in the description. You can click that link, go straight to their site, get those in your cart, get them coming. And guys, let's have a great spring and summer this year. Hey guys, this is Emily with TC Customs. We are giving away a $100 gift card on our Instagram account. So go follow us at TC Customs underscore com. Comment on our post with Back Road Driver that's live now and you'll be entered to win. Ah, uh, well, hold on, hold on. We're not going to give one away. We're going to give three $100 oh, gift cards. Yeah. That's right, Emily's so idea. Comment on our <laughs> That's Emily's idea. Hey guys, we're back here at TC Customs now. Mitchell, what's going on with my truck? <laughs> Don't ask me. I'm not the tech guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we've got Colton Love, C Love in here. So oh, yeah. what you got okay, for us? So, yeah, so, so what's what's been going on? Yeah, so we got your truck in here. Uh, did a few tests on there. Realized there was some really bad compression on some of the cylinders. Um, mm -hmm. Again, not 100% sure what caused it exactly, but it definitely or it may have been related to the Whipple, and if not, either way, Ripple was able to step in and help us out yeah. and actually got y'all a motor installed for free. We got a working truck again, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do? Do we do like a short block, long block, what? what? Yeah, so we actually went and did a long block. Um, that's full motor, that's, that's heads, bottom end, everything. Um, you know, yeah. you swap over some of the uh, auxiliary stuff, you know, AC compressor, stuff like that. But yeah, basically brand new motor, top to bottom. Um, again, we wanted to make sure we got what you needed in there and you weren't going to run any issues because we didn't replace one part where we needed to. Right. But yeah, uh, thankfully Whipple stepped in and was able to take care of this for y'all. And, and, and you know, again, good work relationship with y'all, with Whipple and, and everybody yeah. associated with that. All right, so now that we got the motor fixed, we also had long tube headers installed, high flow cats, and um, my exhaust is still the uh, muffler delete that we've always had with just a little resonator. So it's probably gonna be a little loud, guys. We're gonna to have to work on that. We're gonna go do a cold start on that here in a second, let you guys hear what that sounds like. But first, we need to talk a little bit about Whipple. So this started out as a very bad situation, but we want you to hear what we have to say next. This 100%, and Mitchell's walking behind me doing funny stuff in the background. I'm trying to be serious here. I even read a script right before you turned the camera on. And here he comes again. 
this started out really bad. It's a lot of money to, to be able to fix what just got fixed. Whipple 100% stepped up and took care of that. So got to give two claps and a Ric Flair Woo! for Whipple stepping up. Now, this is not going to happen to most people, like probably anybody. I've not ever heard of a coolant line in a supercharger that comes ready to be put on a vehicle being loose. And we've never heard of that, so it's not typical. You're probably never ever gonna hear of that happening again. It's not a very big occurrence. TC Customs and Town & Country Ford also stepped up and helped us. Having a certified installer, especially a Ford dealership, do this, a Whipple dealer, do our original install, means a lot because when we had those problems, we didn't have to worry a whole lot. We had to get the truck back to them and let them figure out what was wrong and let them take care of the situation. We get a call a few days later, hey, we're getting a new motor. So it does take a lot of pressure off when you hire town and country. It does add a very good level of comfort when you have a professional do this, just in case something happens. Because we had a couple of problems, it's all good now. All right, that's enough of the serious stuff. Let's go hear this thing fire up. I'm hearing it with you guys, first time. That's that awesome. Wolf -esque. It sounds a <laughs> lot better than it did when uh, uh, last time. Uh, well, it didn't really. Uh, yeah, it didn't really sound at all when it showed up. But last time it was here, it sounds a lot better. It sounds a lot better. <laughs> when it rolled off the trailer, we brought it down on. It had open headers, and I don't think it's much quieter. <laughs> <laughs> we got to work on that exhaust note, guys. <laughs> We do have a deal with uh, Corsa Exhaust is going to be sending us one of their new 2021 kits. Um, we'll see if that tames it down enough. Um, definitely have to keep that resonator on there, but look forward to that in a future video. Now, I know that they're going to break this thing back in uh, as soon as you guys do. I expect to see some videos of the drag strip. Yeah, let's go break this thing in, guys. Let's go break <laughs> it in. So if you want to see more content about this truck, click here to see this thing race a TRX and right here to see it race a C8 Corvette. Thank you. Right. Thank you. I feel like I'm getting Thank attacked. You. For what? Thank you for fixing my baby. <laughs> You're very welcome, man. Thank you, Thank guys. You. Thank for you real, very, very real. much. Thank Absolutely. You. It's great product, great truck. Can't wait to see it race. Let's do it. 